So I had my backpack stolen about a month ago and that backpack had my work laptop and a couple of other things kind of related to my project. But fortunately it was all insured and I did manage to replace all of the stuff that was stolen. So in this video I want to do an update to the what's in my bag video I did a couple of months ago starting with the replacement backpack itself. So this is the replacement backpack that I decided to get this time. Don't know how to pronounce this brand so I'm going to get Siri to do it. So according to Siri, it's pronounced Fial Raven. So I did consider getting uh, the same one that I had before, but I just decided to go for a little bit of a change uh, with this one. So these laptop bags come in three sizes, a 13 inch, a 15 inch and a 17 inch sized bag. In the end, I went with the 15 inch size and it's, it's perfectly fine for that. It will fit a 15, 16 inch laptop just fine. Maybe even a 17 inch because it leaves a little bit of room in here as well. So another reason I decided to go with, uh, with this backpack is because this is a much lighter bag. So yeah, completely empty. It is, it just feels lighter than my old bag, which is, significant because the replacement laptop which I'm going to talk about next is a big and heavy 16 inch MacBook Pro so you don't need the weight of the bag adding to that especially when you're carrying it to and from work yeah the old bag was really sturdy but it was also quite heavy this one feels both really sturdy and well made but also really really light so other than that you get a laptop compartment at the back here so they have a dedicated laptop compartment to the back and you have one big compartment in the front and the one complaint I have about this bag is that there's not enough compartments in here so it's just one big volume inside here um, my old bag had little zippers on the inside so I could keep different things in there it's not too much of a problem because uh, the laptop goes in a separate compartment um, but there is something um, I have found kind of annoying. Uh, they do give you a pocket on the back though. And you also get these water bottle pockets on each side of the bag as well, uh, which I use to keep my sunglasses in. So overall, it's a pretty good bag. Um, it's a little bit on the expensive side, but I think it's a good investment because they do last a long time. Next up, let's talk about the replacement laptop. So this is the 16 inch MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro processor, um, which has effectively replaced my um, old Intel MacBook Pro. So this is not even the most powerful version of this laptop. This is the baseline model. And for people who really need it, Apple have a more powerful processor that you can put in here. But um, yeah, we didn't go with that because I think the, the base level M1 Pro processor is more than enough to do what I need. So another reason I would say you should go with this laptop if you're doing PhD level bioinformatics and over is the display. So essentially Apple put the very best display technology that they have in this laptop and that's pretty significant because Apple makes some really good displays. And the reason I think it matters a lot for, for bioinformaticians or for anyone doing a bioinformatics project is that you're going to be looking at this display a lot. Basically every time you do your work so you need to have a really good display just to look after your eyes a little bit. The M1 MacBook has a pretty good display, but this is on a whole other this is on a whole other level. So it makes a huge difference when you are either writing or reading code. There's just something that strains your eyes when you're reading loads and loads of lines of code or you're writing loads and loads of code. Um, and having a display this good should help should help with that sort of eye strain. So my external display um, at work is a 
pretty bad display so I'm really glad to have a really good display on this which I can which I can just use instead of the external display so I think either this 16 inch MacBook Pro or the 14 inch MacBook Pro which is just as powerful as this but just a little bit smaller I think those are the way to go if, if you're doing anything above undergraduate or master's level bioinformatics in terms of laptops anyway. So it does have its downside. As I mentioned earlier, it's quite a heavy machine. Um, it's a little bit heavier than my old laptop and that was not a light machine either. They made these things a lot more bulky, which is good because you get better cooling and performance uh, with this form factor. But it does mean it's a, it's a much more bulky machine if you're taking it to and from work every day. That's something to think about. And having a lighter backpack uh, really does matter when, when you're dealing with something this, this big and heavy on a daily basis. Honestly, if I was spending my own money uh, on a new laptop, I would have gone with the 14 inch MacBook Pro. One, because it's a lot cheaper than this 16 inch. These things are really expensive and it's just as powerful. So you don't lose any power by going down to the 14 inch. Um, and you get more portability as well. You do get a smaller display, but it is the same quality display, so you're not missing out on anything there. Otherwise, the 14 inches is more than good enough as well. Okay, so next up is something I don't have in my backpack. It is my backup SSD. So the reason I'm talking about this is that I was keeping my backup SSD in my backpack um, at the time it was stolen. And of course, because the bag was stolen, then you also lose your backups. So I'm not doing that anymore. I did get a one terabyte SSD to replace the old one, but that stays in a separate location to the actual MacBook, which makes a lot more sense for backing things up. So that point actually brings me to the sponsor of this video, which is Backblaze. So if you're doing a data heavy project like I am, or you just have a lot of valuable data that you want to protect, uh, you should consider backing up your computer uh, with Backplays. So as I mentioned earlier, a physical backup of your computer is just not enough. You can lose your SSD and it can be lost more likely it can be corrupted as well. So even if you don't lose your backup SSD, they do fail and you can lose all of your backup data that way as well. So Backblaze backs up all your data to the cloud, whether you're using a Windows PC or a Mac. And Backblaze will do that seamlessly in the background without you having to worry about any of that. So if you find yourself in the situation that I was in where you have all your data missing and you are a user of Backblaze, they can send you a physical SSD uh, to your address for you to back up all your data to a new machine. Backblaze make backing up and accessing your data astonishingly easy. I guarantee that you will need a backup of all your data at some point. So seriously, back up your stuff. You can sign up for a free trial with Backblaze using the link below. And when you need them, you'll be really glad that you had a Backblaze backup. So finally for what's in my backpack are headphones. So these are AirPods Max. Not really much to do with bioinformatics, to be honest but they are really useful when I'm doing my work um, either in the office or in a cafe, which I, which I do quite a lot. So it's really good that in bioinformatics, you can basically do your work anywhere. You can take your laptop and do your work anywhere, but sometimes you need a little bit of silence to concentrate um, on what you're doing. And uh, a good pair of noise canceling headphones is, is really useful for that. There's a lot of really good alternative options out there for cheaper, but I would say it's useful to have a really good pair of noise canceling headphones. Yeah, just to enable that ability to go and work anywhere 
um, and still get a little bit of silence while you're doing your work. Good pair of headphones, uh, but too expensive. So yeah, that is it. That is what's in my new replacement backpack in terms of bioinformatics and work stuff. Of course, the main thing is the MacBook Pro because that's where I do all of my work. And it's also really good to have a good pair of noise canceling headphones as well. So yeah, the last thing I will absolutely stress is to make sure you back up your data. So this is probably the most important thing I learned from this whole event where my, where my things were stolen. Um, it's really important to have a good backup system. It's good to have a physical SSD um, to back up your data, but I would also consider backing up your data with, with Backblaze. So that will back up your data into the cloud to a, to a completely separate location. So if something happens to your SSD, you know you can rely on this cloud backup as well. So if I'm gonna leave you with anything from this video, it is to absolutely have a good backup system uh, for your data, especially if you rely on data to do, to do your work or your PhD project or whatever it is. And even if you don't, if you just have pictures or videos that you care about on your laptop, make sure it's backed up and backed up securely. And one more thing, I am working on a Python for bioinformatics tutorial that's coming along really well. So stay tuned if you want to see that. It's gonna be really good. Um, yeah, I'm spending a lot of time uh, putting a really good uh, video for that. So definitely subscribe if you haven't and that's something you want to see. And yeah, keep an eye out for that video in the next few weeks. All right, I think I'll leave it there. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.